How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Black Metal Rebellion. I'm your host, Jesse Morgan, and I'm here to do a... another Black Metal Collections update, finally. It's been a bit uh, before I've done one, before the last time I've done one, sorry. And uh, I've got one coming up now, and another one coming probably in a couple days or so. Uh, I'm expecting some more stuff as well, uh, because... I finally got my first check from YouTube, so that's pretty cool. I didn't realize you could actually get paid uh, this quickly, um, and with this not so many subscribers as I have, so uh, cool. That was a big surprise, and I'm very shocked to have that in, so it's awesome. I guess I can thank all of you dudes for helping me get there, so yeah, you guys fucking rock. Uh, so yes, on to the shit. I'm just going to breeze through some stuff that you've already seen, but it's just kind of going to be put in the collection update. Uh, first, this is... Oh, what the fuck is this? This is Coron Zone with Magogagog, if I can get my finger out of the way. The frame rate using this laptop is ass, and I apologize for that. Um, just the back, just in case you did not see my... Uh, carnivorous mower unboxing. Now, this this is actually not sorry. This is actually not from uh, Europe. This is actually from the states, and this is an industrial black metal project. Uh, this is the first album by Coron Zone. He, uh, I think it's one one guy still. Uh, he has so many albums though. Pardon me. There's there's at least six or seven or eight of them. Maybe more, uh, not to mention like splits and one-offs and shit. So, kind of cool that I got this. I actually, I enjoyed it. It was uh, a little different. Uh, like I said, it's industrial black metal, but it's not like, it's not like Thorns. And it's not like 1349 either. It's, it's, uh, it's hard to explain. It's definitely got its own thing going on. Uh, but definitely check it out. It's really cool. Uh, I, I believe there's some stuff on YouTube kicking around of this. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, I actually really enjoy it. I'm glad to have got it. So thanks again, Carnivorous Mower, for that. Really cool stuff. Next is the Viking Crown CD, uh, which is Phil Anselmo's other black metal project. This is the second album and the third release because they came out with an EP and then they came out with something after that and then this one. So I have the latest Viking Crown release and yeah, it's all right. I checked it out and it's, it's you know, it's kind of lo-fi raw black metal with kind of a low end sound like it's not like really trebly like a lot of raw black metal bands are and it was it's different but it was still good it's not something i'd throw on every day uh i might have to go back and listen to like the first album and then maybe the ep that they released first maybe i enjoy that more than this but uh yeah all in all not bad still really cool to have and apparently this is fairly rare so awesome check that out if you Got the time or interest. Next is the oh, fucking hell, this camera man. Uh, this is the Burzum Philosophem Digipack from uh, Europe, the European version, which is a little bit more rare than the jewel case version I have. So that's really cool. Still glad to have this. Um, even though I'm not a big fan of Digipacks, I just happy to have this version because I really really like Burzum so that's cool. Uh, if you don't know Philosophem and you're into black metal you um, you have some catching up to do. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's good stuff. Check it out. Next this is one of my holy grails. This is Wolf's Lair Abyss by Mayhem. The EP that uh, kind of came right after Dom Mysterious or the Mysterious Dom Satanas, which basically means the Mysterious House of Satan. Uh, so yeah, this came out after that and right before the Grand Declaration of War, which I still need to pick up. 
even though I'm not a big fan of uh, the loads of monologue talking spoken parts in that album, the black metal parts in Grand Declaration of War is actually really good. So I'll eventually have to pick that up as well as The Mysterious Dumps of Thanos because I still am not picking that up either. But it's mostly just because I'm not a big fan of Attila's vocals. I like uh, Maniac and Dead's vocals better. And I even like Messiah's vocals a lot better, which uh, Messiah was the first vocalist for uh, Mayhem, if you didn't know. He was on the Pure Fucking Armageddon demo and the other really, really small release they did before Death Crush. So, yeah, this is really awesome to have. Really glad to have it. And it's just, it's sick that I'm able to cross that off my fucking Holy Grail bucket list, as it were. All right, next, uh, got a couple of things that you've already seen, probably. Uh, this is a cassette of Area Patis' first demo. I did a review on it. It was really, really good. I highly recommend you check this out. Um, it's limited to 50 copies. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm going to try and get it up close camera but yeah I got 48 out of 50 and uh, it's this is the second press apparently so yeah it comes uh, on this black tape with a black stick on label on this side same as the back uh, there's nothing to really tell me who almost dropped it nothing really to tell me what's a and what's B but that's okay uh, I'll take out the J card here. Um, okay, just kind of unwrap it there for you to see. It's not bad. It's got uh, some pictures and some track listings and stuff. And then on this side, kind of folds all out. It kind of goes this way though. Wait, nope. Fucking hell. It goes this way. Uh, it's got all the lyrics on it. Really, really, really small print, so you're not going to be able to see it, but I'm just going to show you what's there. Some more artwork that's kind of like on the cover. And like band credits and stuff. So, yeah, it's cool to get a copy of this. Uh, thanks to Area Patis for sending me a complimentary copy of, pardon me, of this. Definitely going to be listening to it on my portable tape player when I go for walks and bus trips and shit because my yeah my iPod is fucked it won't charge it charges for hours and only gives me 20 minutes maybe if I'm lucky of playing time so I need to throw some batteries in my cassette player and throw this on and I'm good so that's cool next I just did a review on this one this is Commit Suicide with High Wraith. This is Lord Dagor, aka Desi Wood. His uh, latest release by Commit Suicide with the songs A Wanderer's Song and High Wraith. Both like really, really long songs. They're like 12, 14 to 16 minute long songs. So it's. Uh, it's probably about 40 minutes worth of material in two songs. That's cool. Uh, I don't think I showed you the inside of this. I'll just take it out of the package. Bust it open for you. So, yeah. There's the back. I don't know if I showed the back. So that's that. Comes in kind of like a... I don't know if you can see that card. Fucking hell. This camera, man. I've said it before. It goes left, and I go right. I go right, it goes left. So yeah, it comes out, and then it goes on there. Desi signed it for me, which is awesome. Thanks, man, for that. It's pretty cool. So yeah, some sick ambient shoegaze, depressive, suicidal black metal that uh, you should definitely check out if you got the time. Um, I have another release by Desi's uh, called Scroth, 
that I'm going to be doing a review on probably later this week. Um, but yeah, so expect that. Got it right here. The Scroth with um, Skies Over Westeros. So, yeah, if you're into Game of Thrones, you'll know what's up with this. Which is kind of cool that there's black metal based on Game of Thrones, because I fucking love that series. It's messed up and gory, and it's got some interesting storylines and a, a lot of fucking in it. I don't know if you're into that kind of stuff, but it's got that in it. The first season has so many dicks and tits in it that, uh, holy shit. You think it was a porno. Definitely do not watch with your family. Uh, it's out of the package here. There's the the inside. Signed by Desi again. I got 90 out of 100, so that's sick. If I could go the fucking right way on this, would be amazing. Um, what's behind the disc? Yeah. That. Uh, that crow thing from uh, Game of Thrones. Pretty sweet. But, uh, yeah, this is a little bit different. This isn't uh, DSBM, I don't think. Uh, I think it's just pretty much uh, atmospheric black metal. Really good stuff. Definitely check it out. And like I said, I'll be doing a review on this sometime this week as well, just to give you guys a little bit more inside what I think about it, just about what the instruments and stuff are like, and the vocals, and what to look forward to if you decide to give this a shot, or maybe convince you to give it a shot. But uh, yeah, so that'll be coming. Alright, next. This is Catharsis with the 666 album, which is their debut, I believe. Really, really good, raw black metal. Uh, just blisteringly fast, but at the same time, it's got some sweet hooks and grooves in there. Um, kind of like early, early Sargeist, maybe. Um, Sounds like a little bit of Bathory might have made its way into the influences too. Really cool stuff. Um, if you haven't heard of Catharsis, I definitely recommend you checking that shit out. Because it's really good. And uh, I don't I don't uh, I don't hear too much about it in the black metal community here, so. Or maybe I'm just late to the party. That's probably more than likely what it is. But uh, Yep. Check that shit out. All right, next one. This, uh, this was, <laughs> this is called The Ghouls with Coven. Uh, nice, thick, hardcover fucking digipack. I got shipped this by accident instead of Catharsis. And then the guy who, who sent me out this realized, oh shit, I was supposed to send you Catharsis instead. So he sent me this out. He said, don't worry about sending this back. It's his fault. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right, no problem. I'll take that. I fucking love Cult of Ghouls. I need, uh, I need the first two albums as well and that EP they have. Um, this, uh, it's how do I explain Cult of Ghouls? It's, it's just kind of regular black metal, but it also has just kind of like crazy howls in it. It's got like some ambient stuff. It, uh, yeah, it basically just, like, really wild Leviathan. Like, if, if Leviathan didn't do so much, you know, soft DSBM kind of stuff and just went, like, nuts, this that's what Cultic Ghouls would sound like. I definitely, this booklet is huge. Like, <laughs> really huge booklet and storyline in there. But uh, I'm not going to show everything because it would just take way too long. Um... That's the CD. If this thing will ever fucking focus. I like that. I like the logo too. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain Cult of Ghouls. It's, 
it's it's unique for sure and uh, if you're into black metal at all I highly recommend you check them out if you have not heard of them this album is pretty good uh, Henbane and Hexen are probably a little better um, but that's just personal preference I'm, I'm glad to have this especially not having the shallow probably I don't know 18 to 19 plus shipping for this because it's thick and uh, it's yeah, uh, it probably cost a decent penny. Okay, last one. Uh, if you've seen Count Blagros channel or Metal Kid, Troy the Metal Kid's channel, then you have already seen this shown. Uh, I'm not sure if Pizza Graham has shown this yet or not, but he might have. Uh, anyways, this. This is Ares Menda's latest release, Despair's Depths Descended. And I was one of the very lucky few who also got this for a dollar. Plus shipping, of course. But yeah, uh, I was just kind of checking out the band camp, thanks to Troy, the Metal Kid. And I'm like, wait a minute, is that release really a fucking dollar? Holy shit! Yeah, I, I couldn't run to PayPal fast enough. Um, but yeah. Glad to have this. This is an excellent, uh, you know, five song album or EP. Six song, sorry. I can't count apparently. I can't do the maths. I uh, love that logo. Love this band. It's just amazing stuff. This is another thing too that it's got like straightforward black metal, but it's also got some DSBM in it. It's got those howls. It's not just straightforward like black metal screeching. Um, just amazing. And, uh, the instrumentation is so good. Um, it's it's pretty unique, I would say. If you don't know who Arismenda is, it's uh, a side project of Valon from the Black Twilight so Circle in the U.S., um, which is just very quickly becoming one of my favorite uh, black metal just kind of group or scenes. To start collecting stuff from i definitely need more um of this for sure i think it's limited to 60 666 maybe i know it says something out of zero but i think he made like quite a few of these um no it doesn't show on the inside i got number 160 out of zero i believe yeah 160. Well, maybe it's 200. Maybe he made 200 of these. But, uh, yeah. Really good stuff. I highly recommend you check out Eris Menda. Uh, definitely check out his main project, Valon, though. And you'll be doing yourself a favor for sure. Anyways, uh, that is it. I hope you like what you saw. Hope you saw something new. Definitely check out everything I've shown. And... Yep, look forward to that Scroth review soon and another Black Metal Collections update. Stay sick, my friends. Have a good one.